What's up guys and girls? How the blooming devil are you? Yes, it's Friday. Yes, it's the end of another working week. Yes, it's another beautiful day on earth. And yes, here I am again in the car going to work. Only for a few hours and then that is it. The weekend begins. I've got a couple of little things that I want to get sorted because I kind of want to plan a little something for next weekend. It's already been semi-planned, but we want to fully plan it, get prepped and execute. Apart from that, the madness is real as ever. There is a Hawaiian shirt on, but it's wrapped up because it's actually kind of chilly. I know that sounds silly, but yeah, it's a little bit cold outside. It's overcast, but it don't matter though, because there's the aloha spirit in the air. Let's get this day rolling. I hope you're winning. I hope you're well. Roll that intro. Most wonderful time of the year, isn't it? Yay. Oh, he's only got his blooming hey, shorts on. on. How's it going, Mr. Grace? You all right? Oh, I'm all right, mate. You? Bloody rest of them. You know what they say, sun's out, gun's out. Have a good one. Oh, nice. Back in right. Dude. See you Monday. Oh, push ups in the park. Well, car park. Getting some. The competition is strong between me and my uh, colleague Terry. He pulled some Alex Ferguson style stuff on me, man. I think I was ahead of him, or we were equal. Yeah, we were even. And then all of a sudden, he's like, How many are you on, Mark? And I'm like, I ain't done none. He goes, Ask me how many I'm on. And he'd done another 25. And then turns and goes, it's half 12, full time, it's over. You can't get it, you can't do it. So I had to do some in the car park just to show it what time it is. On the gravel, on your knuckles, just to double up the pain. Now we've got to get home. Andrea said we have a magpie in the garden, which doesn't want to fly, which is like, long story short, I've always wanted to look after, nurture back to life and just like, be friends with a magpie. I think it was Monday, there was a magpie just sat on the fence and it's got almost like a dock tail. So if you're familiar with magpies, they usually have a really, really quite long tail. And this one's really stubby. And Andrea's obviously been in and out of the house this morning and it doesn't seem to want to leave the garden. But I'm like, of all of the gardens in all of the world, magpie landed in a good one. Let's go. See if we can find a magpie. Oh, there he is. Just there. You all right, mate? What's up, dude? I kind of feel like I need to give him some water, man. I bet he's parched. Proper British. Parched, isn't he? Magpie's thirsty, isn't he? Bless him. He looks like he's been right roughed up. Kind of a bit of a sucky turn for the day, so... We put water out for the magpie, we put food out for the magpie, we kind of cared for the magpie, and uh, we just came over and found him, he was just sat down in the shade, and uh, we was watching him and he was just gulping air, and uh, no sooner had I said to Andrea, because Andrea was like, you don't look good dude, and uh, I said, well, if you don't want to watch him die, then I'd say, uh, you want to get out of there dude no sooner had Andrea taken four or five steps across the garden he literally had a little bit of a moment squawked a bit killed over and said no more this sucks man this is life I'm glad Andrea didn't get to see it though he is now in a better epic place with lots of other magpies flying and doing awesome stuff hopefully salute the magpie good afternoon good evening and good night moving on to other news there's been another delivery and i can't believe it because i only ordered it yesterday 
Yes! Let's see how we get down with these. So, been wanting to take cod liver oil for quite some time. Then got basically krill oil brought to my attention. Gonna give it a shot, see what sort of uh, benefit or effect I get. Obviously my knee, my left knee still sounds like Velcro, even though I kind of been working it and just trying to gently bring it back to its original form. It just doesn't seem to get there and it just sounds like every time I do a squat, it's just tearing Velcro apart. So I'm gonna get on those, I'm gonna give it a few weeks, maybe a month or so, and just see if that kind of subsides, if it does any good for the joints, if it provides some lubrication to tendons and ligaments and brain. So yeah, watch this space. I'll get back to you once I've done it long enough and I'll let you know if I think it's good. I did say the mission of the afternoon was to be uh, getting in the summer house and getting all the kit out for a little bit of fun. When I said mission, sure is a mission. Pretty much all of that's got to come out. So uh, yeah, no time like the present. Get on with it. think all of the airsoft stuff that I need. Oh man. Nice to be able to be in a summer house. Ta -da! Shame I've got all that out there though. All right, well it's all back in there. Now to sort the uh, the gear itself out. And I know I've got a box with some batteries in it somewhere. And I don't know where it is. But I remember seeing it somewhere and I think it's in the house. I hope it's in the house. Yes, it's Friday night. And yes, we've got to go shopping. Madness, where did the afternoon go? Had 40 winks, caught some friends, had dinner. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much all she wrote. Let's go to Tesco's, let's get a weekly shot. It's gonna be brutal, man. We need absolutely everything. The only thing we don't need, dishwasher tablets. Everything else, we need. The big question, will the box take Andrea's parcel? Big question is, will it scan my leg? <laughs> and that. Talk about last of the big spenders. Just big dog now. 100 pound on shopping for the week. Killer. And tonight's Euro is a big one. And so I thought, you know what, we'll be completely crazy, completely barmy. We bought two lucky dips for the Euros. So uh, yeah, stay focused, stay positive. Good times, good vibes. It's a, I can't even, I don't even know how much it is, but it's, it's big money. Hi. Hi. Check me out, last of those big spenders. Oh, I got spent I knew you would, because it's a big fat one, isn't it? It is, 112. 112 mil. Four bags. I'm gonna take you for 100 quid. Come on, Euros. Now, I know guns, or the talk of guns, will not be to everybody's taste, or it won't be their cup of tea. And I know there will be some people in the world that look at like plastic or imitation firearms as like, no, what's the point? You know, just get the real thing. Um, and then there'll be some people in the world that like, why do you even need that when you can play Call of Duty? Or if you really wanted to act soldier, go and join the forces. But I sure do love me some airsoft. And uh, what we've been listening to all these kind of military stories and military tactics just recently, I've got the taste for it. Me and uh, my friend, little Chris, I tend to go and play, play war games with. He's, uh, he's been down for it for a little while. We've had it sort of on the cards for some time. 
And I am just telling you, ladies and gentlemen, now that next Saturday we are going to go and run around in woodland like little kids and shoot ourselves and each other and other people with little plastic pellets. So if that's your cup of tea, be sure to tune in next week. So uh, I've got to get all my gear sorted, which is always good fun, but it's also equally just a nightmare because uh, I'm a complete Fruit Loop and I've got way too much stuff, which is obviously like never a bad thing, but let's just say in the realms of airsoft, you can only ever carry one primary weapon and one secondary weapon. So to have like, I don't know, 12 guns is just overkill, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I definitely think guns are goddamn cool. Yeah, I've got a few. Well, after the sun's setting. Andrew's watering the plants. It's actually really nice out here, man. I hope this is a sign of things to come and I hope this is a sign of the weather for the weekend because this afternoon has just absolutely been gorgeous. Blue skies, nice sunset, vibes are good. Everything's going on indoors, so I won't bore you with that. Pretty much another day over. Tomorrow's gonna be an early start if all goes to plan. You have to wait and see, but yeah, the madness is truly real. Up early, get on it, get the day underway and see what the universe has in store for us. I hope the universe has had some awesome in store for you. I hope you're winning, I hope you're well. I hope you're doing just the best that you can to keep pushing and I hope the universe is paying you back for the effort that you're putting in. As always, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate the hell out of you guys watching the vlogs. I really do. Thank you so much for the support, so much for the love, so much for the comments and, and all that jazz. I know I'm not very good at doing the YouTuber thing and I don't really do it, but I do really 100% from the bottom of my heart appreciate each and every one of you that takes the time out to just uh, kind of show your support for the channel. So thank you. Have an awesome evening. Take it easy. Now go out there and do something crazy. Have some fun. Freak yourself out. Do something that scares you. Do something that scares you. Do something that makes you laugh. Do something that makes you just feel like you're a kid. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy.